Okay, uh, this is Scott again, and my friend Johnny is here. Hey. D the camera can't hear you. The microphone can't hear you, Johnny. Oh, hey, hey, I'm Johnny. Shut yeah. up, shut up, Johnny. Uh -oh. Anyway, uh, we're talking about, uh, the show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Now, I love this show. It's a very good show. Yes. Beca because it's like, it's like Shakespeare, you know? Um, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I guess. It's it's yeah. like, you know, like Romeo it's, and uh, Juliet and King Lear all rolled into one. Well, kind of. I, I don't know if I completely agree. Yeah, you you agree. And uh, um, it's, you know, it's it's like Osamu Tezuka meets Hiao Miyazaki meets Satoshi Kon meets Akira Kurosawa meets Iso Tanaka meets... Um, uh, uh, I don't really know about the, that. The, uh, 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 Kyra Ifukubi. I, I don't know. It's like it's, Godzilla for children, uh, but for adults, really. Uh, yeah, it's it's a good show. It's really yes. good, and it makes it, me happy to watch it, it. It's a very good card. It's it's like Batman the animated series. Let's not if, go crazy. If, if, if they were if they were ponies, Johnny, don't don't. That's stupid. Johnny, why would you? But you just got no. no all shut these... up! Shut up! You don't compare anything to Batman the Animated Series. I will smack you, you stupid. Anyway, it's a really good show yes. for like everyone to watch, and you should watch it. And if you don't watch it, you're stupid. And um, anyway, but you know, Johnny and I have been watching this. We had, we just had like an all night marathon of this like amazing, amazing show, and we realized it like was a, amazing, yes. a, a, like a troubling pattern here. You know, uh, with, like, the babies and the, the cutie mark crusaders. It's like, they think that the show is just for kids. Yeah, it seems like uh, they're just, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, you get on the Facebook page and it's like, Ooh, ooh, wh wh what do your little ones like to do? I don't have any little ones. I don't want any. I don't want any big ones either. Exactly. It's like they just uh, don't even realize uh, the demographic that's out there. Yeah. They, uh, it's, uh, like, it's like if it doesn't meet... The demographic that they want it to meet, then they just completely ignore it and assume it's a failure. It's, it's so stupid but, because, uh, you know, they're losing money. They're bleeding money like the way are. my rectum bleeds on a regular basis due uh, to the uh, painful hemorrhoids I suffer from. Uh, Johnny, well, you don't know what it's like. Uh, hemorrhoids are painful. Yeah. They make it hard to do everyday things. My grandfather's a doctor. He had hemorrhoids. Too. Shut up, Johnny. He, he, Shut, he kind just, of, no. He kind no. Of, Shut up. You don't know. You don't know what it's like. It's painful. You don't know what you're talking about. But uh, my, my grandfather. He... Your gr shut up. Your your grandpa's just an idiot. No. Shut. I, respe jo I respect Johnny. my grandfather. Johnny. Shut up. Anyway, that's not why we're here. We're talking about ponies. Yeah. And you know the thing is, you know they have this like this this whole new demographic that they didn't even think they were going to get. They're called bronies. They're like, you know, like. Responsible adults yeah, like, like us. us, exactly. Yeah, and you know people that like enjoy the show for its like deeper meanings and you know yeah, and for the plot, you know, implications right. and fan art. Oh yeah, and you know, and you know that they shouldn't you know ignore that. I mean, think about it. Think about it. You know, you you sell stuff to little kids. What's a little kid going to give you for your products? They're going to give you fun money, fun money they made out of construction paper with gum. Exactly. Gun that they got from their parents. We're the ones that actually pay for stuff because we make money because we have jobs. Or at least we would if the economy didn't force us to stay inside and watch ponies all day. But that's probably what I'd be doing. The, the, the economy, Johnny, is just... Just just don't even talk about it. It's a different I, episode. I'm not talking about you the shouldn't. economy. You should Good. Or... Don't do it. Don't, don't even start, Johnny. Don't even, it doesn't seem too bad though. Don't like, even start. Online work. You don't it, no, get don't it, don't even start. It doesn't really apply. Johnny, I, I'm just not gonna. I'm okay. Johnny, I'm just you're just you're just not even there right now. I, I can you're see. Not, you're not. You're not even don't there. I want to talk about this. Stuff, you're just so. not even there. Well, we're talking about ponies. Shut, shut up! Just shut up. Just okay, ponies. Yeah. So, you know, they make all these characters, and they're like babies. Like, this new one where, like, Pinkie Pie has to, like, babysit some, like, babies. I don't want to see a show about babies. Who would want to see shows about babies? This isn't, you know, like, the TLC network. The 
Tender tu love and care. Yeah. Tubular Levantine crap fest. Shut up, Johnny. And, you know, it's, shut up, it's hard to ad-lib. Just be quiet. And so, you know, they got, like, the Cutie Mark Crusaders who are, like, little kids. I don't want to watch a show about little kids. I don't mind the Cutie Mark Crusaders no, too much. No, Johnny. You're... But I would if they made the entire show about them, which is what I fear they're going to do. Exactly. And because they, they're, they're trying to shoehorn a show that was originally meant for little kids, but caught on with adults. Into being for little kids, specifically. And it's like, why would you waste that demographic potential? Exactly. I mean, we have a lot of money that we're willing to spend. The fan base, like, you know, they have the money. The kids don't have the money. The, the, the people... The hub network seems to realize and accept the brony community. But yeah. Hasbro doesn't as much. Hasbro's got some butts up their butt. Yeah, they have some serious hemorrhoids. The, Just like you were talking Johnny, about. Johnny, don't, don't, don't bring this back. Don't bring, I don't want to talk about it. But you it. brought it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just shut up. So you talked about it enough. Thanks. Listen, my my anus is bleeding right at this moment. Oh. And it just makes it uncomfortable to even think about it. I, I, I see. Uh, that's uncomfortable. Yeah, and you should do, feel bad. Do, do we need to stop this? No, so you, you can, should. Like, no, you should feel bad. That's what you. That's what we need to do right now. Put, you need to feel. No. Put, put a bandaid on it or something. Shh, shh. Shut up. Just feel bad. I just want you to take a moment and feel bad about yourself. Uh, good. Okay. So, yeah, th this show is I just... I really feel bad. You should. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know why they're, like, focusing on little kids. You know, the the real money is with the adults that watch the show. They should totally make a DVD, like an H... Like, a, a, like an a Blu -ray. H, HD DVD release. Johnny! What? Johnny! What? They just... Johnny! What? HD DVD went out with the frickin'... Boomerang and the dinosaurs and the frisbee. I, st I have still dinosaurs and frisbees and I have little toys. Johnny, why do you do this to me every time? I'm not. We doing can't even have a normal conversation. I'm not doing anything to you. HD DVD, really? Yeah, I have one at my house. It's what I watch HD on. How do you? Where do you even buy these things? Isn't it the most recent standard? You don't have a Blu-ray player, Johnny. No. You watch HD DVD. That's what you watch all day. You sit in your house and you watch HD DVD that you buy from the creepy guy behind the video store. Uh, he's not... He, uh, huh. He's taking advantage of you. No. No. no he's John, not. John I, I'm not even going to correct you on this. If you want to let that happen, you just... Nothing's happening, yeah. Scott. Nothing's happening. Everything is happening. No. Everything. Quit accusing me. Things that you don't even understand are happening. I, no. No, it's not. No. Johnny! So, so, so and it, <sighs> they should make an HD DVD release. So they should make a Blu-ray release. Whatever, for those few people who have Blu-ray, whatever that is. So we can watch, uh, you know, these, these ponies. In HD. I, well, that, I, people, that I agree like, with. Like an entire set. Like, I would watch them and, you know, have, like, specials on them and stuff. Exactly. You know, and they sell Instead them. of, like, these stupid little small sets with some random episodes that nobody cares about. Yeah, that's what really, like, burned my crap a couple years ago. Because I bought, like, all three of the real Ghostbusters DVDs, and then they decided to come out with, like, the $150 box set. What am I supposed to do with those three random episode DVDs now? Exactly. And no, I'm, just, I'm asking you. What should I do with them? Oh, uh, well, you could uh, sell them on eBay, maybe. Do you know what the fees the, are like now? The uh, I don't know. The it's a crapshoot, Johnny. You might be able to sell them over at the video store. He buys things. Or... I'm not going. No, I'm not going back to that guy again. He's just. Okay, let's 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 continue. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So why don't they make these really? I mean, like they sell them on iTunes. I'm not going to buy something from iTunes. Exactly. I wouldn't mind buying it if, like, I, I'd never had good experience with iTunes, like the DRM. Like, I bought stuff and then just, like, I don't know where it goes. The Sega Mega Drive was a terrible system. What? The Sega Mega Drive. What? 
Sonic the Hedgehog. Where did this come from? DRM. What? It's the 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 acronym for Sega Mega Drive. That's not what I'm talking about. You oh. don't know anything about technology. I I know a lot more than you give me credit for. It's just. It's easy to get them confused because they have the same acronym. Yeah, where DRM stands for Digital Rights Management. Just shut up! I'm having a lot of stuff going on right now. Anyway. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, if they would even sell it on something like Amazon, I would probably, you know, buy it from I there. would buy it so fast. Because, uh, like, Amazon, I don't know, it does have DRM, but it's, like, really... You don't notice it very much. I just want to. I just want to watch HD ponies on my Blu-ray player. I just, you know, want to be able to watch them. Like I, uh, I, I download them from you know YouTube and I watch them on there. But I would like to be able to support them. And I want to give them, them money. But I'm not going to be living with, you know, DRM from Apple. And plus, it's only like 720. Yeah, man, you got to have like the 1080. It's got to be 1080. I didn't upgrade this monitor just to like watch videos of. Idiots doing stupid stuff. Mm. Is it? Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So what else was there about the ponies? Was there? Um, just that it's stupid that they're making them like. It's all about like the children and like the babies and like we don't want to watch that. We want to watch stories that involve. Yeah, well, we like, want to see like the young eighteen-year-old slash twenty-year-old young ponies going on. Marvelous adventures. Because that's like our lives, you know? Oh, yeah. It's like, it's representative of our experiences. You know, we relate to that, and we feel that. And, you know, they should, you know, really be targeting us as a demographic because we're the one who's supporting them. It doesn't make any sense for any company, I don't think. Actually, I know. uh, To not reach out to unintended demographics. It just doesn't make sense. It really like they, could, they could make a lot more money, and you know we would respect them a lot more. It's it's like being blind in the area of business, and you know we got people working there, and like Hasbro, that should know that you should take advantage of opportunities. That's what business is. Yeah, exactly. So why are they not doing it? Why are they like, oh no, it's not about kids. We're uncomfortable. We better avoid this. Spread out, butt lickers. Well, I guess that's how most corporations are. They just try to go for the tried and true, but. That's not necessarily what they should be doing. They should always be looking for new opportunities. Great insight, NPR. Well, I think that's getting about about all the time we have. I got I got places to go and people to be. Yeah, there's a bun in the oven. I gotta get it out. You better not go to that guy at the video store again. I'm not. I'm going to the bank. I will call the police. I, I don't know what you're gonna to say to them. Johnny. <laughs> So that's it for another episode of Scott Thoughts.